Grand Rapids, Julia Ann Moore. While drove the Indians once on the banks of Grand River, the build of little huts down by that flowing river. In a pleasant valley fair, where flows the river rapid, an Indian village once was where there now stands Grand Rapids. Indian girls and boys were seen with bow and quiver riding in the light canoes up and down the river. The hearts are full of joy, heavy voices singing, and music of forest birds, the cap of the valley ringing. Indians have left and gone beyond the Mississippi. They call the river Washtenong, where stands Pleasant City. Louis Capon, the first white man, bought land in Grand Rapids. He lived and died an honored man by people of Grand Rapids. Campo came to the valley no bridge was across the river. Indians in their little canoes rode them all over water. Railroads now from every way run through the city, Grand Rapids. The largest town in West Michigan is the city of Grand Rapids.